of these has an access point off of it. Yeah, like this. Hi. Good. We'll do a little bit now. It, um, it is my suggestion, but we can see uh, no, 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 that's, what, uh, what, uh, what that's, people can uh, that's think about that. Yeah. So we use... Um, so let's... Uh, ah, good question. We use OLSR. What? OLSR. So there are... So we use this because um, we chose it. We chose it, yeah. It's all uh, open source. All open source. Everything, everything that we use is free and open source. So this is the routing protocol. <laughs> and it runs at the IP layer. So 802.11s runs at the hardware, at the Mac layer. So it's like 802.11a, 802.11e. So OLSR runs between here, here, and here. Yes, between the access points only. So this never sees it. These have. Um, or static, or right, whatever. And that's how you get the routes. So if I have another laptop over here, and let's say this one is... Yeah. So from here, or from here, his packet will go to here, and then it will go to here, and then it will go to the internet. So no matter where you are on the network, if, you, if there's one node that has internet access, everybody has access. And if you put a server, That's a server, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. I'm not good in the... Uh, okay, good, okay. Um, so like if we had a uh, wiki, or chat, Drupal, then this computer could access, this computer could access, somebody from over here could access. So. Is there uh, any specific uh, configuration for the gateway to, for the node uh, connected to the internet? Ah, good question. Um, usually, no. So we have a system where, with these, if you, if you have it connected to something, to another router that gives out a DHCP lease, and the router boots up and sees that it has a DHCP lease, it just starts saying, I'm here about the splash page. Like if you were in a hotel Wi-Fi, we have that turned on by default. We haven't decided whether it's a good idea for everybody here. Local, local application server for, for computer server. Yeah, yeah. We we brought some hardware, so we'll have to play with it and see. IT guy. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. 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 Um, I think there's MIPS x86 on. We also have we also have client. The smartphone. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. But the architecture of uh, the wishing card, the uh, the old model can't uh, do that. Yeah, that's exactly right. They have to support, and that's some of the problem we have with supporting Android devices, is that um, they don't like having ad hoc mode. On their wireless chips, so. but the but the laptops, the new ones we have versions. I don't know. Do you run Ubuntu, uh, Debian, Arch, of course. Yeah, um, it's relatively easy to, to do, uh, but we have prepackaged 
uh, Debian files for Debian and Ubuntu. We can work with everybody for the rest of it. Um, uh, the IP, uh, just uh, the hardware here in uh -huh. Tunisia, it's not so uh, performant for uh, uh, a large coverage. We have, I have uh, IP uh, that supports open world, mm -hmm. but uh, it's limited, yeah. 20 meter maximum. Yeah. I think for you guys to grow the network, you're going to have to find a way to bring in better equipment, and that will be the challenge, because the routers here are mostly very small performance and won't really work, and also won't work right now very well with the software. Um, so I think that's going to be a challenge over time. But we brought 10 uh, powerful omnidirectional routers and four, or five, sorry, five, 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 five sector routers. Um, so if we can put all of those up in the next you know, week, then it's a good start. Okay. And then you'll have to smuggle in. <laughs> so we're going to talk about, I, we, we haven't even done any introductions or anything, but we're going to talk a lot about, um, you know, what kind of hardware is best for deploying throughout the city, you know, do we want to have a powerful node in the middle, or at the edges, or where's the internet, and you know, that kind of thing, so we're, we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, if you guys had a local server here, what would you want? <coughs> For me? Yeah. Uh, uh, cracker. My <laughs> server? Okay. It's much easier to... Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like I said, we've got, we, if we end up using how we've installed it now, we've got a piece of software on the hardware that we brought that does chat, and it has some HTTP file server. Chat, what's the protocol? It's based on um, CryptoCat, so based on XMPP. But we can put Jabber on it. If that, I mean, that's a little more extensible just to put Jabber on it and use Pigeon or Adium or... Our chat for community is not so interesting after all. Yeah, yeah. For me, I want the database server. Oh, okay. Which one? MySQL? Yes, for us. What about uh, games? Games? Yeah. Games? Yeah. yeah. Do people like, play games on... What's so many here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, in the open source, uh, there is uh, open arena. Ah, uh, you know, okay. Okay. Like great. Yeah. Do you guys use, uh, like, VoIP? Okay. Okay. Is there a good open source VoIP server? Did you know? Mumble. What? Mumble. Mumble. Oh. Yeah, that's the. That's like for. They. That's zip communication. Yeah. Like that. Mumble asterisk. Where is here in the middle? And Skype and all that. And they're putting some chat uh, here. Now it's not so interesting. We can use it. It might work. It's for the gig guys only. <laughs> Maybe we have so many here. <laughs> How do we have? Oh, I don't so. I don't know so many. Four, five, six. You will know. Not everyone here, uses here. IRC anymore. <laughs> <laughs> if there were a chat sure, in a yeah, web browser, use. would people use that? Like <laughs> chat rooms. On the web, do you think people would use that? Not pigeon or any. I think the, the, the Ubuntu community already uh, use uh, IRC for, for their uh, yeah. communication, <coughs> official uh, communication. So. 
So the thing. But now uh, you know uh, Facebook is killing everything. Yeah. It's killing the internet. Because they have chat and they have. Uh, yeah, we have Apache 2 on there, right? On the on the server we brought right now. Just a the wicked server is, uh, is, uh, is running uh, on the Apache. Uh, we actually, I didn't install any wiki software. The idea is to mirror uh, all the portal. So yeah, to yeah, our server have, here. So we have uh, group out the media wiki, perhaps we can add uh, another service. So we can get uh, an instance in the, over the internet and uh, look at the instance. <laughs> They'll know it was from me. <laughs> what can you use to broadcast things? The voice or video? Ah, okay, good. You could use. Yeah. Most commonly bad. Yeah. It's awful. Of uh, the, the like video land? VLC. Yes. VLC, yeah. It's more of a cloud. Is there a way to host, um, is there like an open source way to host YouTube? Not, not YouTube, but like Flash videos where I can upload and there's a Flash viewer or uh, uh, Media goggles, right. <laughs> yeah, right? Everybody wants but the most interesting thing is uh, how to set up all this. Yeah. You must know it. All of the ways to set up a network. Well, no, it's just the configuration uh, mm -hmm. way. Not all how to set up VLC and FFMP. That's yeah. uh, internet is here for that. That's right, Google is <laughs> here for that. Yeah. But there is no, yeah, so there's a version. Um, the version of OLSR that we run now is version one, something. They're coming out with a new version called two. And in version two of OLSR, they can take into account the amount of bandwidth to the internet connection and the latency and things like that to determine which one you should go to first. So. They're working on it, but the one we use now does not take that into account. Yes, uh, how much time uh, do they need to, to release the specification? It's it's done. It's done. The spe the specification is done. The implementation. Is it's we've we've tested a beta version of it already, so it works, but it's not. Yes. We're not ready for it yet. Yeah, and so the other interesting thing is that if I connect. So this, this connection doesn't just need to be internet. If you have another network over here that you want to bridge in. Another uh, me mesh network? Uh, sure, another mesh network or just um, a local area network with like a computer lab or something. You can just bridge it right in and it does the same thing. The bridging, uh, what's, uh, what's the proper, uh, pr protocol that, uh, that uh, does the bridging? Is uh, OLSR? It's, yeah, so if, um, 
So, you could so the idea would be you could do you could bridge it like with routing and say there's another network over here, but if if we replace this with some DHCP server and it gave out a lease and said 1.1.1 slash 24 is here, that automatically gets sent around. And if there is uh, some DHCP server in our uh, networks and another DHCP server in the other... The it can conflict. It can. Yeah. We, we've had to deal with that before and you do need to plan a little bit. Um, uh, is there uh, some uh, established uh, DHCP server that uh, looks for uh, other uh, DHCPs? Not that I've ever seen, no. Our software, when, when you install the software on the nodes, mm -hmm. it puts, it generates um, unique IP addresses and subnets so that they don't clash. But if you bring in something from the outside, there might be, yeah. Well, how would the, the Android, Android ports uh, is uh, coming? We now have two phones that you can that are supported. The Nexus phone. I hope it's free. Uh, <laughs> I wish. Hello. The Galaxy Nexus and the I Nexus S work yes. great. We're working on a few others, and then hopefully, which one do you have? Um, I'm running a Nexus Seven. Oh, on the tablet. Yeah. Ah. Do you run CyanogenMod? No, the stuck in Okay. Because the Nexus 7 does work, but we have to you have to run CyanogenMod. What's the the that is so specific about uh, CyanogenMod? They have already incorporated a certain set of patches to enable in the kernel level or, uh, or uh, kernel. Yeah. The the user level stuff is fine. It's the kernel level. And so uh, We've talked to developers at Android, so we're hoping they incorporate those patches into stock Android, but they haven't done it yet. Uh, what's the, what uh, this uh, patch is uh, for? It's for IBSS and the yeah. that's That's all they are. We actually are trying to, our other, one of our, our lead developer, has a Nexus 7 tablet, and so we're testing it on that. We brought it in, we were hoping to test it before I left to come here, but the battery was dead and we couldn't get it. He must try to work with the uh, more team to, uh, to perfect this. Uh, we do, yes, we do, absolutely. Because Sergeant with uh, Sergeant Mode is uh, all about the 17th uh, smartphone. Yep, exactly. So we've worked, we've worked pretty closely with them um, to get some of these patches already in, um, and then we're going to keep. We've actually we've actually thought very hard about whether or not we should try to actually. Apparently, one of our people knows one of the Synergy Mod people, so we were going to try to work more closely together. The Synergy Mod is not that.
So I was, what did people think? I wanted to see if we could go around and if there was one. Uh, I mean, translate what Andy says. Yeah, do you translate different? And if everybody, uh, so that everybody understands. Uh, in Arabic, is, for me, it's better. Um, and everybody can say it in French or Arabic, so everybody understands. Well, it's cool in French. Yeah, but I don't speak French. <laughs> either, either way. And so the, the how has to be determined by the community. How to do that? Because the community may face some time to, uh, to do that, or, uh, or maybe they will not uh, will not find innovative people to do that. Or um, I think we should keep going around and, and talking about the principles, but let's set some time for later in the workshop okay. to discuss that and, and talk about some examples they've seen and some things that maybe we could do, we can okay, let's figure out. Okay. Okay. Did someone else want to share? Do you want to? I think the, the digital justice is prioritized to the participation. The digital justice prioritized the participation of, of people who have been traditionally excluded from and adapted by media and technology. I think the, it's uh, an important uh, right. And I hope, uh, hope uh, that, uh, that we can, as a community, uh, make it happen. Did anyone want to translate that in French? Or? Yeah, I didn't hear what he said. Well, il a dit que la, donner la, la chance aux exclus de la média est une bonne chose pour la communauté. Il faut faire ça et je, on espère que ça va fonctionner. On va essayer de faire ça. Je vais juste une question pour le dernier article. Je fais du travail. And they use that to organize and grow the the work that they're doing. And if you want to try that. Okay. Yes. I have understand, but okay. But uh, it's more interesting if uh, the product you see here, the mesh network, is coming with all uh, software solution for that. You tell about uh, education. You tell about uh, e-commerce local e-commerce and that. It's more interesting that uh, we came with all solution in one package. If we uh, can uh, do that uh, in the future, it's, uh, it will be uh, more uh, more competitive. Mm -hmm. I just uh, think yeah, about that. Actually, just, uh, I just want to check. Who prefers that we translate in French, into French or Arabic? Well, uh, open source, whatever. Okay, just one question. Uh, the group is the teacher or uh, just uh, uh, IT guys? No, these are these are education people. Oh. They study education all day, and they they came to us, technology IT people, you know, code code monkeys, <laughs> and said we want to work together to find out which tools are good. So, I, I wish I knew the answer. I wish, you know, there was a tool that we could say, you know, Coursera or TEDx or Open MIT or Courseware. So, I hope I'll uh, be part of that. Yeah. yeah. We would, I think that's, if, if you could help 
tell us what platforms you've had experience with and which are good and bad. We would love to know and, and work on that. Yeah, I'll translate. Thank you. Yes, good. So, in a group, Professor Jackie travaille sur ça avec eux pour trouver la meilleure plateforme pour l'éducation dans le Wesh Network. Et qu'il essaie de trouver la meilleure solution à ce forme de PDS ou des vidéos comme ça. Il espère trouver la solution bientôt. Did someone else want to share a, a digital justice principle they found interesting? The history? Is that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that that's Are there any that, that you think don't apply? Don't apply. Are there any that are just like, oh, this doesn't make sense in inside that? To be honest, I'm not from here. Okay, that's fine. That's all right. It's actually deployed on buildings, and we can use that to test. We also have a laboratory test at a university that has. Um, Shield, shielded boxes and their the nodes are physically connected. Optimal conditions, yes. And then we run various scenarios for that. One house to another house to another house to another house. The community will have its own communications infrastructure. No, we have to connect the barriers in the communication interne or local. To also contribute to the network and be part of the community network. I think we have to do this. 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 So that means we need the help of your parents <laughs> and your families and friends. Do you, who wants to help us? Yeah! <laughs> So, uh, uh, so we'll start today by breaking into groups and begin to work. Uh, Thank you. 